Returning now to that very lucky emergency landing in Proserpine, northern Queensland, where six people swam to safety after their plane came down in a lake. The owner of the Lakeside Airfield, Gary Poole, joins us now on the phone. Gary, good morning and thanks for joining us. What did you hear and see yesterday afternoon? Good morning, Francis. Well, it all sort of happened pretty quickly. I was in the house here, which is adjoining the airfield, and there was a, a loud roar of an engine and then a bang and then a, a roar again. And I thought, oh, no, I thought there's, uh, there's a problem there somewhere. I uh, quickly shot out of the house and uh, I noticed the, the plane was settled right onto the, uh, the lake. Um, which is quite amazing. It was sitting there. It hadn't started sinking, but as soon as the exit doors were opened, it very quickly started taking on water, and it didn't take long for that plane to, uh, to start going down. Uh, it was uh, it was chaos there for a while. The, the pilot was diving in and out of the plane, making sure all his passengers were out, and uh, we had six very, very lucky people. How on earth they weren't killed, I'll never know. As you say, Gary, extraordinarily, all six were able to get out of the plane. As a pilot yourself, can you explain how they actually were able to do that? Look, um, I don't know. I think the, the pilot must have briefed them quickly on the, uh, the emergency exits. I was speaking to him later and I, I said, what, what happened? And he said that he experienced a, a downdraft just prior to uh, reaching the, the strip. And it was quite obvious when he when he landed, the uh, he'd lost control of the plane, and uh, it went through quite a bit of fencing, hit an embankment, and then uh, ended up in the lake, uh, facing in a 180 degree direction from uh, which he was uh, landing. So uh, it all happened very quickly, and uh, I must say, I think the pilot did an excellent job. He stayed with those people, and I saw him diving into that that plane. I think there was a a while there before one, one young lady surfaced and I think that was the lady that, that might have some back problems and that today she was she seemed to be in a lot of pain. Yeah as you say Gary we understand one passenger has suffered um, minor injuries but I imagine all of them would have been pretty shaken up. Oh yeah they were and uh, very very lucky people. It, uh, you don't see that happen uh, very often. It, it was amazing but how quickly the, the local people got to the, the scene. Look, I, I noticed one problem I had. I was just ringing zero, 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 trying to get the, the ambulance. I was just fearing that the worst was going to happen. and I had a, a real problem raising zero, zero, zero. I was sort of ringing other people and saying, look, this could be extremely serious. I couldn't believe the time that it took us to get through on that zero, zero, zero number. Well, that is a concern, Gary, but thankfully in this circumstance, we've got a very happy ending. Thanks very much for joining us this morning. Fine, Francis. Bye.